Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and today we're going to go through my top 10 cane matches. Namesake to myself. <laughs> so we're going to go through these. Um, before we get into today's show guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. And also don't forget to go check us out over on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, um, obviously here on YouTube, Anchor, Spotify, any place you can kind of find podcasts. Right, let's get in it. So number 10. I've got Kane versus Triple H, Raw, 23rd of June 2003. This is the unmasking. So I had to put this in here. The match was okay itself, but it was the unmasking part at the end, which arguably goes into some of Kane's best, like kind of, he's like scary kind of Kane work <laughs> for at least like a six, seven, eight months. After that, it kind of goes downhill, but um, this is uh, probably one of my, my funnest parts. Number nine, we get Kane versus Big Show versus Raven at WrestleMania 17. This one's a personal one for me. I really love this match. Um, I love Raven. He's one of my favourite wrestlers of all time. Um, and Kane and Big Show both just worked in this match. Um, it was so cool. Number eight, Extreme Rules 2014, Kane versus Daniel Bryan. This one has to be a kind of fan favourite. It was a really cool kind of match. Number seven, Kane vs Shane McMahon Survivor Series 2003. Again, this is another one that I personally like. Just because I love that Survivor Series 2003 pay-per-view. The Undertaker vs Vince McMahon in the Buried Alive match. Then you have the Stone Cold's last match when he wasn't able to wrestle. But it was like Team Stone Cold versus Team Bischoff. And there was just lots going on and it was a good match. A good show, sorry. Number six, TLC Raw Roulette. The one that was on Raw, the, I think it's the 7th of October 2002. Um, that TLC is underrated. A lot of people don't even know that Raw had a TLC. And uh, it definitely is one that you should go check out, guys. I have to put this one in here. And it's the Royal Rumble 2001. Kane getting 11 eliminations. Yeah, he didn't win it, but he was the MVP of it. I remember speaking about it in school, at primary five or something, sitting like, oh my God, Kane's just done all this, um, which was really cool. Then, number four, Kane versus Triple H, Judgment Day 2001. This was a chain match, and it has to be one of the most brutal chain matches ever. And it was two main eventers going for the Intercontinental Championship. So it was like weird to see that, but it was a really cool uh a kill cool run that we had here. Number three is Kane versus X Pac Armageddon 1999 Steel Cage. This one means a lot to me just because I remember getting it in the WWF magazine and you have to get like the pages you were turning them and it'll give you like a little stivets of the, the matches in it. I remember piecing this together and it was only later on, I think actually when I got the network that I seen it and isn't he the best match but for me it's one of his best just because it means more to me. Number two, Undertaker versus Kane, WrestleMania 20. This is the return of The Undertaker. Kane's character work and storytelling in this was really great. And uh, yeah, it was a really cool match. Then number one is Kane versus Undertaker. The first time they met at WrestleMania. Um, WrestleMania 15. That has to be one of the best... WrestleMania 14, sorry. It has to be one of the best um, matches of all, all time between that Kane had. Um, between Kane and Undertaker. It was the first kind of big meeting they had and it was just a a war it was great and I loved every single minute of it <laughs> and I loved that pay-per-view as well anyway guys that was my top kind of 10 cane matches I hope you enjoyed them and I'll see you back here tomorrow for the Smackdown review um, anyway guys enjoy the rest of the day and we'll see you later